Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. This video is going to be about a very simple summarization technique, but it matches with some state of the art technique. This summarization technique, or I should say the uh, logic implementation comes from a paper that was published by Salesforce. It's called control sum. So what is control sum? Control sum is nothing but summarization with a little bit control. So typically when you do summarization, you do not have any control over it. So you just you just pass on a bunch of text and then you get some output text. The maximum control that you have got is to say, okay, how much output text that you want or how much percentage that you want to summarize. I'm not going to talk about um, the summarization techniques. Probably you have a lot of other videos for that. What is uh, abstractive summarization? What is extractive summarization? All those things you would probably see it in other videos. But what I'm going to show you here is how to use this package uh, or even introduce you to the package. First of all, Control sum is a PyTorch implementation of the paper that says towards generic controllable text summarization. And what kind of controls that they give? They give controls like um, you can say uh, there is a, let's say there is a um, prompt and based on the prompt you can summarize or you can say condition summarize. You can say like uh, this is like the, this is the section that is more important. You can you can do a lot of different kind of summarization like this. So let's go ahead and then look at the Python package. So this could be used with hugging face so when you look at this repository which i will link in the description you can see how to use this with hugging face but we are not going to see how to use it with hugging face so there is a kind soul that has actually created a python wrapper around it so that is uh hyun um ku so thanks to hyun ku for making a package out of it so now we have got a package on pypy that we can simply install and then get started with summarization this is especially very helpful for people who are doing applied nlp to be really honest a lot of people are already into hugging face uh, ecosystem so if you want to see how to use it for hugging face uh, there is a code already and if you want me to make a video about it please let me know in the comment section otherwise let's get started with the package so the package is called summarizers like this z e r s summarizers so you can simply do pip install summarizers so the way you do summarization with summarizers is very simple first step you import the package or import the class second you instantiate it like you uh, start it and then uh, when you do this thing you can uh, do three things you can either just leave it as it is by default which will download the pre-trained for a, for normal summarization or if you want it to summarize a paper especially arxiv paper you can say i want summarization for paper or you can say i want summarization for patent and you can do that thing so you can do either of three modes we are going to look at the normal mode which is default and if you have got a GPU like me, where I'm going to show you on Google Colab, then you can say device is equal to CUDA. And the type of summarization that you can do, you can do basic summarization without anything, or you can do a query focus summarization where you actually specify a query. And then you say, I want summarization based on this. And then uh, you can do abstractive uh, question detection, uh, which is uh, when you ask a question, it would actually give you an answer. So like there are a couple of options and then one, very important thing is uh, summarization with prompt and the summarization with query and prompt and you have a bunch of other options so let's get started and then we can see a couple of examples and then we can wrap it out and then say how you can use it if you watch this video please make sure to check this description because you can just click this notebook and then replicate everything that i'm doing while you are watching this video and if you have uh, not subscribed to the channel please subscribe and uh, click the like button it would mean a lot to me so the first step is when you have a collab environment connected and make sure your runtime is uh, your runtime is gpu so in my case i wanted to use gpu because you know it can get things done faster so i have made sure to select gpu as my hardware accelerator so i have connected to a gpu so the first step is after you select gpu pip install summarizers i'm using q just to say that install it quietly i don't want to see all the details that uh, goes behind installation so i'm happy if it successfully installs so uh, right now i'm actually executing it uh, while you are seeing it so you can see also how much time every single step takes so after we install the package the next thing that we are going to do is like we said import summarizers from summarizers uh, you have to just pay attention to the uh, uppercase s and you have uh, the package name is smaller case s but the class is uppercase s so once you import that uh, the the function you get it and then uh, you don't have to specify normal but i'm just trying to make it explicit saying summarizes i want normal 
and I want a model for CUDA GPU model. So at this point, it is going to download the pre-trained models that are available for for summarization uh, for summarization for normal summarization. But one thing that you have to notice this uh, original uh, Python PyTorch implementation also tells you how you can um, you can fine tune it for your own data set. So if you see, there are three model checkpoints here. One is CNN daily, which is our normal. Uh, ARXAV which is our paper and big pattern which is like the pattern related thing. So what we are doing is now normal which you can see it is a, uh, it's fine tuned on CNN daily mill news data. So if you are trying to use it for your own domain you might have to probably fine tune it but otherwise um, uh, like you can you can you know um, do it with the normal model. So let's see how it is going to look like. So currently it is downloading a, probably a 1.6 gig uh, model. And uh, the text that we have got, it is actually summary uh, or I should say abstract of a paper, but I'm not using paper. Uh, you please note that I'm not using paper as uh, the model method, but uh, I'm using an abstraction. Sorry, abstract of a machine learning paper for summarization. So now I have got the text. You can see the model is successfully downloaded. So we are good to go. And the way we do summarization is quite simple. If you do not want to do anything, don't give anything. So first we have our text. You can see like printing the text you can see like it says re recent state of the art approaches to some summarization utilize large pre-trained model blah 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 you have a lot of thing and uh, when you say sum uh, of text uh, because i've initiated with that i can initiate with anything so because my object is sum, i'm just using it with some sum of text you can see distilling models to smaller students has become critically important for practical use. One thing we should probably do is we should try to find out if this is also part of the text. So let me take practical use as a, and then say practical use. Okay, probably it's not trying to find out, or I can say practical, practical use, okay. So, so you can see that the sentence where practical use is used, um is the same thing so you can see so so usually good summarization models do not do this thing so that's what i wanted to say like uh, if you see good summarization model they do not exactly take it existing text from um the current uh current text that you have given uh rather they would actually build uh build their own uh, summary this is probably because we are we are doing it without any uh condition and uh, this is this is primarily for controllable text summarization which means like you have to give some kind of controlling factor or condition so so that is something that i want to call out so uh, a lot of times i tested this every time you test this without without a condition uh, you get the actual summary and this is also present as an issue in the github uh, maybe this is not relevant for a lot of people but i wanted to call this out so if you see the uh, so the the question they have asked this uh, is basic summarization uh, actually performs abstractive summarization so and uh, you can see the you can see the um, you can see the description that uh, that is given but one thing that i would like to highlight is just because of the contents of the original article are not generated does not make this model an extractive summary model however this may occur frequently because control some summaries are generally shorter than other summarization model so uh, have a look at it uh, just try to see what is given here but i wanted to call this out so if you are doing it any without any control controlling factor it is possible that you are basically uh, doing uh, some um, extractive summarization which, which means like it is just basically extracting the text not um, abstractive summary okay so having said that uh, let us start with controlling factors so one thing that i want to do is let's give a query so when we give a query we are trying to tell this model that i want a summary to include this part for sure so this is like my query and run it well so it now says like there are many different approaches for of distilling nlp model so we said approaches of distilling model and it says many different approaches for distilling nlp models let's probably take uh, let's go to wikipedia uh, wikipedia and then try to find some text uh, go to english so I'll probably take uh, Indian Premier League IPL. Okay. Does it have any description or I should, 
I'm not sure if I should take IPL or uh, probably I will uh, take India. Okay. So, okay, we have got a bunch of text. I'm going to copy all these things, at least till this. Text to and paste it and okay looks like it is fine so now after we pasted i can now text of text two and then i can say query uh, and say country it's like populous country okay i can say populous country it's equal to populous country when I try to do summary of this thing, it says India is the second most populous country, the seventh largest country by land. But instead of this, if I try to give a different um, query, which say, let's say Asia, um, you would see a different summary. So India's a country in a South Asia, it is the second most populous country, the seventh largest country by. So you can actually see how uh, the summary, uh, the result of the summary actually changes. Um, and uh, when you see, um, technically speaking, uh, if it, if we assume that it is taking the entire text, you can see that this entire text is present, where India, Hindi, Bharat, officially the Republic of India, blah, 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 is a country in South Asia. But when we try to summarize, this algorithm actually works and then it tries to give us only the summarized part, which is a good thing. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to ask a question. So you can see here. Uh, that uh, you can do uh, a question summary. So let me quickly show you the example. So you can do summary. What we did now is basic summary, query focus summary. Now we are going to do abstractive question and answer. And also we want to do a prompt based summary. So we can do prompt based summary like this. So where we can ask a question and then kind of, you know, ask the model to answer us. So I'm going to ask a question and the question is uh, where is India and then run this okay syntax error run this question where is India what is India where are the people what is the country name and it has actually generated multiple questions and finally it is trying to answer this is India so you can you can try another example um, I don't know whether language is mentioned here uh, Okay, I don't see uh, any language related. So maybe if we add that as well. So I don't know uh, whether it will be helpful, but uh, yeah, in the Indian Ocean, in, the, um, in which I don't know if my question is actually correct. So let's go to the question and answer mode, which is query mode and say query equal to what is in which vicinity india is in in india is, okay and uh, it's a uh, it's uh, in the indian ocean india is in the vicinity of uh, sri lanka and maldives you can see like we try to ask a question and then it try to find answer to it so to the east what is in the east of india let's see if it tries to find out okay what is in the east of india and th this did not work you can see what is in the east let me try one more time what is in the east what is in the west what is in the north what is in the south the east okay. so there are some queries that are not working properly because you know i would like to tell that this this text is not cleaned properly there are a lot of um lot of junk is there because i've just taken it directly from um from social uh from wikipedia but you can see how it works so one approach is you do summary without anything. Second approach is you start with a query. Third approach is you ask a question. And fourth is you can start, ask a prompt. You can give a prompt. Prompt is like India, um, India is, and then you can leave it so that it will start with the prompt. What India is, we're not the language of the Indian subcontinent, which is not correct, quite correct, but um, uh, you get the point. So you ask with a prompt and you can also ask with the query, query and prompt both. So query is like, um, you can say, where is India? And when you run it, India is the vernacular language of Indian subcontinent. It is the second most populous of, if you remove this thing, um, you would probably get a different answer. So probably it is over, where, what is it? Where is it? Where is India? What is the country? India. 
so probably this is the right question that we wanted to answer but uh, you can see you know how this kind of uh, thing works so you need good uh, text that is clean but uh, i would say that it actually what the you should go look at the papers this is they say that uh, it is it is actually uh, the state of the art uh, um, score for summarization um, in an uncontrolled setting but uh, what i really like about this is uh, the ability to control normally summarization techniques do not give you the ability to control you can also see the downsides of it right so when you do not give any control it doesn't work very efficiently and when you give control sometimes it doesn't work very efficiently but it is the case with a lot of machine learning models sometimes it works very good sometimes it doesn't and uh, also the fact that i should highlight that i have not cleaned this text i just took it directly from wikipedia even the references are still there so i have not edited any of those things if you ignore all these you know edge cases that i probably did not do it right so it might look like um, i'm not showing it in a good light maybe i'm not doing enough justice to show you how good this is uh, to import a python package and uh, do a state of the art summarization but to be really honest this is this is a wonderful solution especially uh, the ability to control is really good a lot of times when you want to summarize uh, the algorithm would give you a, you know small amount of text but you know there must be a key thing that you want to add it like because the algorithm might not know it's, it's just going to do a plain simple um, english summarization but you know uh, this one aspect is something that that is very important and i want it to cover like let's say there is a, there is an article about olympics and um, cor corona virus or covid is one part in that and uh, you want that to be included in the summary and that is not usually possible with a lot of solutions available thanks to summarizers control sum for uh, making it possible for us and this collab notebook and the other two repositories i will link in the description youtube description please have a look at it and if you like it share it with your friends if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section like i said you can also use this with hugging face for summarizations and um, continuing our nlp applied nlp journey i'm happy to you know like publish another video with nlp if you have any feedback for me please please let me know it would mean a lot otherwise i hope you stay safe wherever you are in the world and enjoy programming coding thank you fellow coders